can't believe it's 22 years now that we've been do doing Threads of Hope. And every time I look at that video with all the past winners, I get a lump in my throat. Volunteer work that the people we're going to celebrate tonight and the 100 plus people we've celebrated in the 22 years, it's really what makes the engine work. All of us as individuals and all of our volunteers are the threads that weave together the fabric of our community and making it unique. Kick off the holiday season as we celebrate Threads of Hope. What makes the volunteers and our nominees that you're going to meet tonight so special is that they carry their own pains and burdens too, and yet they look beyond them to ease someone else's pain. Our six nominees will remind you that we are surrounded by amazing people who seek the service and make difference in the lives of others, who offer us every single time we come here hope. Yeah, if you uh, have been around me at all, you, you'll hear uh, about the program and I'll ask you for money. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're always fundraising for the helmets and locks, uh, but it's a, you know, it's a great program. Stephen Vogt is an MLB all-star playing catcher for the Oakland A's. Stephen and his wife Alyssa support the School of Imagination in Dublin, which provides support and services to more than 350 children, many of them with special needs and disabilities. So when we found out about the School of Imagination up here, that sounded exactly what we were both passionate about, and that's helping special needs students be included in the classroom with the kids without special needs, and they're gonna just feel like they're part of the class and they belong there. Brian Ware is the founder of the Crayon Initiative, a nonprofit that collects unwanted crayons from restaurants and schools and manufactures them to donate to children's hospitals. I've been lucky enough to visit many of these hospitals where I've met incredible children going through unimaginable situations. But somehow, a new pack of crayons brings a smile to their faces. Fran and Vic Smith have been volunteering in their community for decades, literally. They are still volunteering at the age of 90 and 94. Two or three Fridays each month, we fill about 500 boxes with food for children in a special program. It's a pleasure and an honor and very humbling for us to be part of this. This year, Stephen J. Rivera Threads of Hope Visionary recipient is Sister Ann Welts of the Bay Area Crisis Nursery. Sister Ann founded the Bay Area Crisis Nursery 35 years ago, and her mission is to prevent the abuse and neglect of children by helping families, by helping moms that are struggling during a really difficult time, and we've all been there, to be able to take care of the children in the best way. Sometimes you need a respite. Sometimes you can't do it on your own, and that's why Sister Ann is here. You are the people in our community who make volunteerism so special because you stand up for the efforts of everyone in the community who is helping others and you make it known in a way that is a model to our children and it is a reinventing of the future, a better future for everyone. Never appear to be more than you are, always be more than you appear. And that's, I think, the way we should all strive to live our lives. Thank you. Thank you.